Good day, allies of Ek Alibis. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords, wherein once more the Sith shall rule the galaxy. Maybe. Unless they decide that they don't rule the galaxy at the end. No, this is episode number 11 of KOTOR to the Sith Lords. Thanks very much for tuning in, as always. Last time out, we made our way to Telos, where we were under house arrest until they decided that, no, in fact, we didn't blow up Paragus. Nobody checked the tape. <laughs> our story is we didn't blow up Paragus and we're sticking to it. What's in apartment C2 here? Nothing, absolutely nothing. What about the other one? C1. Nothing. Where is apartment... No, there's nothing this way. Where is apartment C4? That must be C4. Telosian? Telosian? You guys have anything interesting to say? Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for the TSF to handle. We need Republic troops to restore order. That might be worth mentioning as well. The good folks at Zerka called us and said, do you want to work for us? And the Athorians, who are also dealing with Zerka mercenaries, are saying, hey, do you want to work for us instead? The war has really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. Medical supplies are in short supply and high demand. So don't buy the medical supplies. It'll cost you too damn much. All right, what's this way? Apartment Complex C, which I assume we're in. Oh, this opens up into a whole great big area, I guess. The war is really inflated. Oh, I heard that line already. Now let me guess. You're going to say the Zerka mercenaries line? Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand and they're too much for the this Apartment complex B. I should have, before we started this, looked up where the hell? Apartment complex A. I'm I'm assuming it might say that in the uh, Orabesh up here. I mean, I'm not going to... I'm not sure whether I should be arsed to shuttle bay elevator. More Telosians. Oh, God, shut up! I don't need to keep hearing the same two lines over the Zerka offices. Yes, we've gotten the call from Zerka. There's the Athorian. There's a, uh, the Bumani Exchange Corp. What the hell is a Bumani Exchange? Ex oh. So bonjour, ma piton. No so kama rentisi renti. Manama kropa put. We get it. Uh, that exchange. We don't have any weapons yet because Tilo Security Force have their hands on it. Uh, I should probably look up in the journal here. Where the hell I get, uh, let's see. Residential model, module 082. And that's where we are. Entertainment module 081 is where we have to go in order to grab our crap back. Now, I know in the last episode that I said that uh, we were going to talk about um, some more rebels. But a uh, small problem with that is that uh, Star Wars Rebels finale wasn't until yesterday here in Canada. I recorded the last episode, you know, just before I literally finished up recording about five minutes to nine on the first night it's back. Except it was the first night it was back in America and you got the old uh, fuck you from the house of mouse. So, like, uh, last week we got to watch... Uh, this is the Thorian compound, I think I mentioned that. Last week we got to watch... Uh, was it the uh, the Wolf in the Door and the World Between Worlds? Holy crap, was that good? May as well go investigate something. Onderon. Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. Uh, I seem to recall they've mentioned Onderon bef Onderon before. I think that's where the Harbinger was going before it was redirected. I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Onderon. My stay was supposed to have been shorter. But the contract disputes over the restoration project have prolonged it. Dear God, more politics and trade. No, that's bad poetry. Bad poetry. Don't need that rhyming. The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but with their disagreements with Zerka, the status of our arrangement is in the air. Yeah, thanks. That's nice. I don't care. I don't care about your trade dispute. Nice big med bay, but... Oh, hang on. What's behind this door? Oh, it's a lab station and nothing behind that door. That's a shame. All right. We're, we're trying to get our shit back because Telos took it. Or the Telos security force took it. Thing with old games is we, we don't want to visit the... Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Information terminal. 
Yeah, so you information terminal. Uh, download area map. All right, um, that's great. Can we transit to another module? Oh, apparently we can't transit to another module until we find where we're going. So, to east. So we want to go back east. We don't want to go to the Athorian compound yet. Because there's nothing in the Thorian compound like besides trouble. Or probably progressing. That's Zerka again. We're looking for entertainment module 081. But where that is, there's an apartment complex B, there's apartment complex A, and there's a shuttle bay elevator. I wonder if we should just try all the doors until we find... No, uh, uh, maybe this isn't going to help us. Oh, B3, B2. Locked. Would there be anything interesting behind any of these doors, really? Oh. Hey, it's a Duros! Well, that's interesting. Did he just connect the exchange and and Zerka? Well, now don't that be it all. Well, if I had my T3 unit or my HK unit, I'd probably give them to you. Sorry, I'm supposed. I forgot. I'm supposed to read those things as opposed to leave the tiny, tiny font there for you guys to read, aren't I? Yes. Sorry. Yes, he does. He does sell droid parts. Oh, it's just a bunch of... It's just a bunch of crap. Like, um, repair kits, spikes, duraplating, fighting upgrades, blah de blah de blah de blah lot, lot, of, lot of crap here. It's like, limited use items, upgrades, upgrades. Nothing particularly exciting. Ah, well. I'm good, thanks. Oh, apartment one we can pick our way into. Hmm, it's impossible, is it? I'll be the judge of that. Where's my, uh, there. I don't, I don't have anything to break into the apartment with because they took all my crap. Bastards. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I security spike it? Okay, I guess not. All right, let's try apartment A. See if that helps us. Otherwise, I'm kind of I maybe the shuttle hangar thing. I'm guessing one, two, and three as well. Oh, Foot Locker! We'll break into the Foot Locker Rambo style. A security spike tunneler and a repair kit. Thank you very much. All I want is my crap back so I can start... I'm not going to go bursting into the exchange without the ability to kick someone's ass with a vibro sword. Also got a... Hey, what are you doing in my apartment? Um... Looked like you were doing more than just looking. Let's see. I'll be going now. Yeah, you will. Now get out of here before I get the TSF to throw you in jail. Uh, I'm just going to leave. Do, 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 do. By the way, I stole all your shit. Go fuck yourself! Ah! <laughs> oh, Hara, not Hera. Hara. Hera being the uh, Twi'lek or Twi'lek or Twi'lek, depending on... You know, it's funny, I, I was... Um, I, I think I've heard the three different pronunciations. They Even with the new canon, they haven't come together on one harmonious pronunciation of Twi'lek, Twi'lek, or Twi'lek. You're saying it wrong. You're supposed to say, Hello there. Hello there. Or, Hello there. Hello there. I've had a lot of practice doing that lately. Clearly, you're not part of the clan Sindula. His leku are very, very, very shiny, aren't they? Oh, he was uh, he's working shit job because he has a gambling problem. 
Let me guess, you have a damn gambling debt you must pay off. Yeah. You are half right in your guess. At one point, I did have a gambling debt, but it was repaid. And there's no credit that looms over me. So why are you still working your shit job? I used Ramana, the girl of my heart is collateral. I have a weakness for Pazak, you must understand. The hand was unbeatable, there's no way I could lose. But it seems that you did. Indeed, I didn't now. Ramana is in Richard as a dancer to Dotton Het, and no doubt she hates me. Well, I can't. Yeah, of course, you did make her a slave. Yep, I agree. See, I'm a snarky son of a bitch now, aren't I? And that is why I'm working day and night, selling my own life to Zerka, and that I might buy her back from Dotton. She'll probably kick you in the balls and leave you for that. It'll take months, maybe years, for me to amass those credits. Dotton couldn't take her away from here. Or Dotton could take her away from here. Uh, what's the price for her? 2,000 credits. I was foolhardy and confident. Every penny I had, I bet, on that game. Well, uh, I think I could persuade Dalton to see things our way. Yes, maybe I could. Truly, then I wish you luck. For no ma just pleading, begging, or otherwise has worked for me. Yes, but I don't plan to beg or plead or otherwise. I'm going to quick Dalton in the balls until he has no more use for a Twi'lek dancer. I'm really getting into the whole dark side thing now, aren't I? I'm assuming... Oh, Entertainment Module 081. If I just turned the corner there instead of looked at the sign on the outside, I would have gotten here faster. Hello, TSF officer. A Republic ship was supposed to have arrived to take control of the situation here. I hope it's not too late. The problems are becoming too much for the TSF to handle. Yes, I keep hearing that. You guys are kind of shit at your jobs, I hear. I hear. All right, up or down? Sealed module door. All right, let's go up for a second. Okay, nope, we're going down. We are going to go down. Always go right. Apparently, doesn't always serve you. And when you don't go right, you can go left. There's a merchant behind here. I say, you got a merchant, but how many credits do I have? Does it tell me anywhere how much... How many credits I have? It's got to say somewhere. Experience. I have everything except the number of credits that I own. Character skills. Party selection. Everything except I can't find how much money I have. That's in modern... Oh, no, there. 2200. Oh, see, I can buy back his girlfriend. There's Dendis Dabo. Who is... Dendis or Dennis? No, Dendis. I was right the first time. There's a workbench and then there's... Salmon Dabo. What the heck? Two duros having fun. Well, you made the right decision coming to me instead of my brother Dendis. He has not quite grasped the ebb and flow of being a merchant. Nonsense, I simply have principles. That is what I was referring to. Smart duros. All right, just let me shop. I don't know if there's anything. Uh, Jalshe Perception Gloves. The Jalshe use these gloves during meditation. How they function is unknown, but they seem effective for increasing one's awareness to their surroundings. Plus one awareness, dexterity, and wisdom. Actually, that's handy sounding now, isn't it? Uh, you know, okay. We've got, uh, we've got some options there. We've got some options there. We can always see what, uh, Dendis has. Greetings, my name is Dendis. If you wish to purchase or sell goods, you have come to the right place. Avoid dealing with my brother, Salmon. He is unscrupulous and deceitful. Well, he is a businessman. I expect little else. I heard that, you mince. Hear what you like, ruffian. I do not care. Do you see how he is? Disgusting. Just let me shop. Is about the only appropriate answer. See, this is a... Well, this is interesting now, isn't it? Armors and armors. As opposed to, like, you know... It's all armors and weapons. He does have a few... Other thing. Oh, do I have to go price item cost? Wow, those Jal Shade gloves. Wow, those these are pricey. Oh, they've got one in stock. We've got none in inventory. There's a lot of crap. Pizak cards, pinpoint scopes. He's got a lot of random crap over here as well. So. Oh, area do. Um, area do. I know, I know that. I'm going to have to uh, put that in the old Wikipedia. And, oh, lightsaber crystal, red. 
double bladed sword. Man, that seems pretty, pretty handy. Some some swords and stuff. Air you do is that the? Oh, restricted to dark side for uh, Ali Makito's robe. Although we could also get Baron Du Sage's robe. All more than more than I can afford. I was gonna say, is Area Do is that the one from uh, Tarkin, or am I? Oh, we've got a Celestian fella here. Please, I don't want any trouble. It was an accident, I swear. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. No, no, that wasn't the way it was. I did not mean to disturb your drinking. Allow me to leave you and go on my way. I will trouble you no longer. Not even an apology. That won't do at all. We're gonna have to get involved. We're getting involved here, aren't we? This Sullustan here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. Yeah, all right. Uh, so, yeah, how do you plan on doing that? The only way that he'll learn. A little physical reinforcement. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I'd like to hear his side of the story, though I don't, I'm going to care. Oh, thank you. It's very simple. I was at the bar enjoying my drink when these brutes elbowed their way up to the bar, spilling my beverage all over the two of us. A likely story. Then they dragged me out here. Look at these two. I know what they want. They want to send me home with my limbs twisted, body battered, and spirit broken. This doesn't have anything to do with you, stranger. Just move right along. Have a drink in the cantina. I like that idea. <laughs> One, that sounds like a good idea to me. Thank you. <laughs> Dark side points gained. Oh well, what's he got on him? I'll take 10 credits, I don't really care. Also, they clean up on aisle one. We're just, uh, I'm just trying to stay the hell out of trouble here, so. Oh, more entrances to the cantina. Uh, wait, there's an information terminal right oop, there. Can I get the area map? Thank you. Because I'm looking for... Dock module. What's this one? TSF station. So we gotta go along. We gotta go all the way around or it doesn't count and we don't get to run around again. And there's... Do you have anything interesting to say or are you just like everyone else? No, you're just like everyone else. Don't worry, I'm not talking to bloody anyone. Hello, you. We've received some reports that the Miraluka colony of Qatar was destroyed with no survivors. That one wasn't my fault. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need Republic assistance. Lovely. All right, you protocol droid, I want my shit back. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF Station. How may I be of assistance? I'd like my crap here, thank you. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. I'm sorry, what do you mean it's gone, it's stolen, what the hell is wrong with you? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen, and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship! It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me! That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, Numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebon Hawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? Well, inside one of the shielded I'm restoration sorry. zones. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. I want to be compensated because you idiots arrested me under false pretenses and then some jackass stole my ship. Atten's got some sort of complex where he thinks the droid is making fun of him. And I don't know what the hell his problem with droids are, but he really, really does not like J3. Man, what the heck? Yeah, can I get... What the hell? Mm. Idiots. 
Can I get my possessions back? Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in the security lockers. Now, what am I supposed to do now? I am not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest, beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. I don't like you. You're annoying me, droid. The exchange is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel, most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in Residential Module 082, is a front for the exchange on Citadel Station. So Crime Syndicate is here, and you guys aren't going to do jack about it. Great. And they probably have my ship. Huh. Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our offer of free room and board. I'm going to go now before I take your head off. I am not happy with these people. They are all idiots. So we'll just start picking up all the crap that we've... Okay, we'll just pick up literally everything. I'm not going to go through all of it because this is all the crap we've accumulated so far. Vibro sword, vibro cutter, and oh, some chemicals in the last one. Alright, we've got a load of crap here. Now we just got to... Was there anything else around the corner? Or... No, nope, just a dead end. Hey, can we go through the other door? There was a second door here. You grin! Somebody stole my ship! Something I can help you with? Oh, do you have any work? No, I don't give a shit about any work. I want my ship back, jackasses! I'm guessing this is where we were held at some point in the not-too-distant past. I'm Anchi. You stole my ship. It was him. He is a villain. In disguise. Alright. I do want to go to the cantina before the episode is over. Oh look, here's a cantina. There we go. Come in the door and... I guess here's the bar. Luxa, Gamorians... Bartender. Welcome to the Entertainment Module 081 Cantina. How can I assist you? What sort of entertainment do you have here then? We feature Citadel Station's most talented all bith band around the clock, as well as live Twi'lek dancers. You won't find any holograms here. Casual Pazak players should be able to find a friendly match in the game room. Or, if you're a bit more seasoned, we have daily tournaments with some of the best players in the Outer Rim. Cards too slow for you? Try your hand at Citadel Station's swoop track and see if you can challenge the all-time records. Last but not least, we feature only the finest cuisine and beverages from Ryloth to Coruscant. Okay, that sounds handy. Can I have some drinks? I might need them. Ah, so you must be the Jedi everyone's been whispering about. No more trouble with the TSF, I hope? I should have armed myself first. I guess you haven't heard the popular rumors then? It would seem. Jedi or not, you're the talk of the station. Everyone from the TSF to Zerka Corporation is curious about you. Hmm, yes, and you are? You haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Benok, the man in charge of Lopak Slusk's protection. You do know who Lopak Slusk is, don't you? The two gentlemen with me are Matu and Nahata, Slusk's finest men. Other than me, of course. Oh, leave the man alone, Benok. I bet he'd come out on top if you fought. Now, Luxa, uh, I meant no disrespect. You're probably Slusk's strongest woman. It's your skin, Benok. Just warning you, Slus could easily replace you. I don't know who Slusk is, but 
I also don't care who Slusk is, but don't mess with me. I'm in a bad mood today. We were just leaving anyway. Come on. Wise man. Toodles, ya wimp. He's going to jump me the second I walk out of the cantina, isn't he? It just seems like... Maybe it's just because I'm uh, listening to the audiobook of uh, Darth Bane. I think it's Path of Destruction, I think, is the first book. And uh, the main character, Dez, now he gets jumped on his way out of uh, out of the cantina. I don't understand your problem with the Republic. It's not like Onderon hasn't benefited from joining. It was one of the darkest days in our history. Talia sold Onderon to the Republic, and what did we receive in return? Nothing. In exchange for the blood of our soldiers, the prosperity of Isis has been stripped to decorate dead planets like this. Look, if it weren't for the Republic, you'd all be speaking Mandalorian by now. And because we accepted the Republic's aid, we should be indented to them forever? You make it sound like the Republic turned Onderon into a prison colony. Perhaps. Only that the Republic did not even conquer us, our own betrayed us, and allowed the Republic to take what it would. Well, this sounds like a fun exchange. Well, if our treasury continues to be sapped. Okay, uh, I, I'm not too arsed about it. Oh, who are you? Corn. Cornfelt? Romana? Oh, hello, you! We're looking for you, maybe. I paid to dance not to talk. Okay, well, thanks for coming out, kiddo. Oh, another Talosian talking about circus mercenaries. Now, hang on, can you tell us about this Lusk person, Miss Luxa? Hello there. Hmm. Saying it all wrong. Blood at the cantina. Enjoy. Your drinks are on me. We should talk later. If you're asking me that, handsome, you're better off not knowing. Tell you what, you just enjoy yourself, and if in the future we have business together, you can come back and we'll have a little chat. Alright, I guess that works. I don't even know what type of alien she is, to be perfectly honest. All sorts of... This is the Pizak stuff. Now, didn't you say something? You're all, always on about Pizak, aren't you, Atten? Something up? Can you teach me to play Pizak? Yes, thank you. All right, but I'm out of credits. So it's Republic Senate rules. A lot of talking and absolutely nothing happens? That's where we waste a lot of time trading cards and trying to beat each other. But in the end, nobody wins. Everybody loses, and nobody accomplishes anything. <laughs> it's like stalemate... Except the goal is to pass time until the audience gets bored and leaves. Man, that's some meta commentary about Attack of the Clones. Uh, let's see. Can you go over the rules first? Sure. Shouldn't be a problem. It's basically a numbers game, but I can give you the ground rules. All right. Note the rules for Pizak will show up in your completed quest sections whenever you need to access. All right. Before each Pizak match, you must select 10 cards from your side deck. Four of these will be randomly drawn from your to form your hand during the match. A basic Pizak deck has one of each card numbered plus one to plus six, and one of each minus one to minus four available to create a side deck. You will find the other side deck cards as you play Knights of the Old Public 2, including specials like plus minus cards, reverse cards, and many others. All right. Select 10 cards to form your side deck now. I'm going to go out on the limb and guess this is exactly 10 here. Yeah, sure. See, the object is to have your face-up cards total higher than your opponent's hand without exceeding a total of 20. All right. If a player's total is greater than 20, at the end of a turn, a bust, the opponent wins a set, must win three sets to win the match. First player draws a card from main deck and plays it face-up to begin their turn. This is done automatically. I don't want to play anything yet, so can I end turn? Your opponent uses the same rules you do. Each turn they draw a card and they have the option to play a hand to end turn or stand. Uh, let's play plus two and stand. Ah, dang it. That and got us. All right, the match continues until players won the resets. Tie do not count. Have you ever never given more hand cards in the match? You have to use the four cards you have carefully. Oh, that's that would have been handy to know before I tried it. 
All right, we'll sit on that for a moment. Oh. Uh. And turn. Yeah, I know. Okay, fine. Uh, plus one and stand. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Until someone's won three sets. I've got two minuses, so I can get aggressive. And turn. And the turn. All right, so at 20, we stand automatically. Ah, god damn it! <laughs> so I've got one card left. Uh, can we stick on 16 and... Man, I'm in trouble. I'm not very good at this Pizak thing. Enter. Shut up, end the turn! It's not letting me end the turn. It wants me to stand. It's like cheating me in the, uh... This the thing cheated me! I'm trying to end the turn. It's not letting me end the turn. That was quite unfair. Hi, Kraya. Yes. Let's see. Uh... You've come with questions? Yes, and I need some answers. Then ask, and I will do my best to answer. All right. Do you know anything about the Sith who pursue us? I know of them, yes, and how much like beasts they had become. Combined, united against the Jedi, they command legions of Sith. But above these legions, there are three who must be stopped. As long as any one of them lives, then we, and all life, are doomed. One bathes in pain, feeds on it for sustenance. The other has ceased being a living being so consumed by hunger that he has forgotten his own flesh. And the last is a creature of betrayals, for without such things there is no hope. Well, I think we... Yeah, the one who bathes in pain, Sion, he, he is the one we have already met. Yes, of pain he has learned much. Of knowledge, of teaching, he knows nothing. Like the others... He was spawned by the horrors of the Mandalorian Wars. He exists solely to spread his pain to all Jedi everywhere. Now, I should mention, though, the rule of two was more with Darth Bane. I just talked about Darth Bane. Uh, Darth Bane was like 3,000 years after this. So, but from the little bit I've gone through of the first Darth Bane book... It appears to be not too dissimilar. Well, I was gonna say it appears to be not too dissimilar from this, but Drew Carpation. Uh, I think I said Carpation. Uh, something to that effect. Poor Drew. Wrote uh, Mass Effect One and Two. Who wrote The Old Republic. Who I think might. I'm trying to think. What's he involved with again soon? He's come. He's. Uh, oh, he's writing Anthem. That's it. He's writing Anthem for Bioware, and he also wrote Kotor One. I don't know how involved he was with KOTOR 2, but um, let's keep asking, who's the betrayer? Even now, she is difficult to see. She must remain hidden for now until the time is right. If not, then all our efforts will be for nothing. In this, you must trust me. If she is exposed too soon, then this war will be over before it has begun. Uh, that made absolutely no sense. If we expose her, then she'll just kill us all? Is that what you're trying to say? The less said of that one, the better. Even a stray thought may draw him, and it is possible that he cannot be defeated. He is one who has learned the greatest of the Sith teachings, and it enslaved him. Until you are ready, we must not seek him out. Okay, Darth Plagueis it is. All right, let's go. Now, since we struggle at Pazak, let's... Let's wrap up this episode quickly. We can do a little bit of uh, a swoop racing. After all, you guys know I'm a bit of a racing game guy. I knew it the second you walked in here. It's quite obvious you're a swoop racer. Probably a good one, too. What else could have brought you to Citadel Station but to challenge our track records? Oh, I'm sure. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an old hand in the pod racer, right? So, what's the course like? Because Citadel Track was recently constructed, is it's completely state of the art featuring the most recent advancements in swoop racing. Such as? 
With the recent influence of propulsor lift technology into the swoop racing world, our track features vertical challenge, demanding even higher level of skill and precision from our pilots. I don't remember that. I honestly don't remember much about it from the first game. And they've introduced new types of obstacles to make it even more exciting for the fans. And I guess to add a challenge for some of us old hands who are setting track records on KOTOR 1. Yeah, there's nothing Swoop fans like more than seeing a good wreck. It's a dangerous sport, no doubt, but that's the price of glory, is it not? That's an old school race fan. What's the track records? Let's see, it's Ov Darren with a time of 41.27. I can beat that. Second best is Rakel Sorm at 44.73. And let's see, what's the next one? Is Nicolaitis with a 50.03 and fourth is 58 seconds. So we want to get into the 41s. I think we can do that unless like we got a shit swoop. Can I have a practice run? Track's all yours. 20 credit fee and you can run as many times as you want. How about you let me run the course for free? There you go. Jedi mind trick to get get a free uh, soup race. Goodbye, sir. All right. Does anybody remember how to do this? I honestly don't. I, uh, I, I remember. I, I. Vaguely remember I got a shift whenever it whenever I get to the there. Woo. Missed that boost, missed that boost. Ha oh, there's a There's a There's a jump button on space that I did not know was there before. That is actually new. It would have been nice if I had an actual tutorial. But now I know that there's a way to shortcut this ever so slightly. Oh, I was pushing the I was pushing the uh, mouse button instead of the space button. So that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little tricky just to try and get... I thought I'd get a track record pretty easy. But, uh... Yeah, I missed by a bit. I missed by about 20 seconds. See, that's what happens when you don't have a tutorial. Yeah, let's go. Really? 100 credits? Don't worry, I got ya. I can do this. Nobody panic. I've got this under control. Except for that start. That start was terrible. And that first shift. That second gear shift. Was pretty... Pretty wizard. That third shift. Not so good. I missed that. I missed those. The controls are lacking a little precision. Jumped over that. I think I found top speed. So at this point, it's just how fast I can do the- Okay! Second fastest! Alright, that's pretty good. Now take that. If I hadn't missed a couple shifts and missed a couple jumps there. A reasonable time, but not spectacular. A respectable race. A 43.03, but you didn't beat the first place record. Hey, on my first actual race, you know, I, I set a second fastest time. Come on, give me a break here, son. 41.27, and I'm 43.03. So, I can... I could probably... Let's give it one more try for this video, and then we'll wrap it up. Your entry fee is wave champion. Have fun on the track. That's goddamn right, son. All right. We're not going to screw up the first shift. Beauty start right there. A little early on the first shift. 
A little late on the second one. We're going to try to get that speed built up. I think I just missed that one. Not missed that. We will just shave that one. Just missed that one. I needed to just... Oh, I missed that. That was bad. I'm not going to improve at all. Whatsoever. Well, that was kind of a waste. I'll jump that, though. That's nice. Oh, I, can, I don't have to use the water keys. I can also steer with the mouse, too, I guess. Well, okay. Yeah, no, I'm good for now. All right. Well, it was a valiant first effort. Not not the best first effort, but a valiant one. So I guess that'll be all the time we have for in KOTOR 2 this time out. The next time out, now that we've got our crap back. What do you want to do next time out? I'm thinking we might want to go have a little chat with the fellas at the exchange. I think that's a good idea. Well, it's a terrible idea. But I think it's a good place for us to start next time on Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lord. So thanks very much for joining me. I'm on silent. Thanks as always for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget, you can check out more Knights of the Old Republic 2 in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below, and more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.